Hey friends, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you so much for stopping by today and taking a look at this video. Today, we're continuing our look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman and Robin figures. And up on the turntable, we have Batgirl, portrayed by the actress Alicia Silverstone. So when I saw this character in the movie for the first time, I'm like, that doesn't look like Batgirl to me. She didn't have the, the bright red hair. She didn't have that costume, the cowl. She was missing a lot of things. She went with that blonde hair. And when you look at this figure, it doesn't strike Batgirl to me. It's kind of like some generic character from some movie, maybe an independent comic movie or just some generic spoof or something because it just doesn't scream Batgirl. Yeah, just getting those vibes from it. But let's take a look at the packaging and see what we've got besides the figure. So we've got the cross cell here on the back, the figures you need, the pieces you get to complete Mr. Freeze here. You also get some martial artwork there of Alicia Silverstone in her Batgirl outfit. You get a display stand as well. And like I said, this figure does have the most build figure pieces. So you're getting the freeze gun, an effect piece, shoulder pads, and that really amazing head sculpt of Arnie as Mr. Freeze, some really nice detail on that. Can't wait to put this figure together and see how it stands up against some of the other build of figures that we've gotten from McFarlane. But we're gonna take a closer look at Alicia Silverstone here as Batgirl. Now from a distance, yeah, I'm gonna say from a distance, the hair is striking. The hair looks fantastic, it's sculpted beautifully. There's some great highlights and shading on it. The mask as well, it's, I don't know, I just don't really see Alicia Silverstone. I don't see her portrayal, her face. It definitely looks like a generic head sculpt. Really is what I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing the actress at all. Now the mask is pretty nice, nicely detailed. Her eyes just, I don't know, they seem a little bit too big at certain angles and certain angles like here. It's portrayed really well. It looks fantastic. The costume itself, I don't know, seeing it in closer detail like this here, it just looks like a corset from, I don't know, like Victoria's Secrets or something, or Fredericks of Hollywood. It just doesn't feel superhero. It just looks like some mishmash costume put together. And it's kind of unfortunate. It does have some nice sculpted details, like the, the emblems up here on the legs. And it does have that leather effect on the boots as well. The cape is nice. You know, it definitely has a nice looking texture to it. Doesn't have that sliminess like the Batman George Clooney figure had. I don't know what the deal is with that figure. That cape was just horrendous. But yeah, it's some nicely sculpted details, but you see the costume itself isn't really spectacular. And again, just no color, no paint. That's the way it was in the movie. That's the way it's represented in the figures. But if you wanted to customize this figure, I see some really good potential for some different characters. Maybe the Huntress, spoiler, you know, from the Batman uh, universe. So it does have some nice sculpted details, like I said, but it's just very bland, very boring, and uh, just doesn't do it. This is a figure you're gonna want, of course, to complete the Build-A-Figure. That Build-A-Figure looks really impressive, but yeah, overall, it's just kind of a plain, boring figure. And I didn't really, like I said, I had no intention of getting these figures, but after seeing, the really good Robin and Batman. I was like, yeah, then Poison Ivy was absolutely incredible. So there you go. We had to get this because I'm definitely going to finish the, the wave to get Arnie. So but yeah, sculpted details, fantastic. Let's take a look at articulation. You don't have much movement in the head because of the long, luxurious hair it's sculpt. It is really nice hair. That's some of the nicest hair I've seen in a long time on the Fairlane figure. So it limited the articulation. You do have the spatial joint for ball jointed shoulder, bicep swivel double jointed ratcheted elbows you got the articulation ball joint and these tiny tiny little hands you also got some abdominal articulation that can go back quite a bit forward as well you have the ball joint in the waist ball jointed hips double jointed ratcheted knees toe articulation rocker boot pivot l that good stuff that we love and that beautifully sculpted joint man blends in perfectly with the boot we really like that but yeah, we don't have any extra sets of hands, any batarangs, any weapons, unfortunately. But it comes with some key pieces you need to finish up your Mr. Freeze Build-A-Figure. Now let's compare it to some other characters and figures. So we got here James Gordon as Batman, 
that slender kind of Nightwing body that they've been using for the young adult superheroes. You can see the height difference there. These two would kind of blend in nicely together as a team. And then we got one of my favorites from the Page Punchers lineup, and that is Green Arrow. Green Arrow, this figure is big compared to a lot of other figures. The Page Punchers line is just a little bit taller, it seems like. But it'd be kind of cool to see these two together. Like I said, it's kind of like a generic super. I don't see Batgirl. But some customization, some paintwork, we could see a lot of different characters. You know, it could go uh, in a lot of different ways with this action figure if you wanted to do so. And then, of course, we'll pair him up with one of my favorite Jokers. And that is from the Infinite Frontier. Very stylized, kind of sexy Joker, <laughs> if you want to say that. But yeah, these two, um, interesting, let's say that. Like, I'm not a huge fan of this Batgirl, but it's not too bad. And I can see it, you know, have some potential. These two look interesting together. And then with some other figures, like another female character, here we got Catwoman from Nightfall. Now the Batgirl does stand a little bit taller than this version of Catwoman, but this is a great version of Catwoman. I really like it. Striking details. I love the patent leather on the thigh-high boots and the gloves. It looks fantastic. Really nicely done. And then of course we're going to pair it up with one of the coolest figures this one here, the Michael Keaton Batman from the Flash movie. Again, these two look really great together. Really would have been interesting if McFarlane would have done figures off of the canceled Batgirl movie. If we would have got Michael Keaton in another bat outfit, if that would have happened. And just to see that really kind of traditional comic book style um, cat Batwoman, or excuse me, Batgirl outfit in translation into an action figure could have been really cool. but. Unfortunately, we'll probably never see that. And then, of course, we'll put her with her other wave mates. We got the Dick Grayson Robin. These two look really good together. I almost just want to splash some purple onto this Batgirl. Some purple highlights or something just to break up some of the monotony of the colors. But yeah, the night. But for the Nightwing, that extra splash of the red looks fantastic. And this is really an awesome awesome Robin to add to your collection. And then we got the slimy cape. George Clooney Batman. Great looking figure. That cape we're going to work on. And I'm definitely going to try and do some sort of custom work on this figure. Got to find me another one. But yeah, um, these two look pretty good together. I think your Batman and Robin shelf would be incomplete if you didn't have this Batgirl. So if you're very interested in completing the wave, you want to build that Mr. Freeze yeah, you're probably going to have to get this figure or go and try and buy the build apart separately. But I think if you're a customizer and you want to have some fun, trying to do a little customization work on this figure would be, uh, you know, something that could be pretty cool. Could turn out to a really interesting character with some extra paint. All right, guys, there you go. Those are my thoughts on this figure. Let me know what you think about this Batgirl. How did you even like this Batman Robin movie that came out ages ago? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more.